Hello you guys, welcome back to the Peace, Love, and Happiness Club YouTube channel. My name's Nathan and I'm here today to tell you a little bit more about the Philodendron Pink Princess. So Philodendron Iridescence Pink Princess is a super, super popular plant. Anybody that's been collecting plants for any period of time has likely heard about one of these beauties, and they are super popular for good reason. As you can see, you get this beautiful bubblegum pink variegation on that deep green leaf. These guys are relatively easy to grow and are sort of the gateway into the collector plant world. A lot of people see that really nice pink variegation and are absolutely captivated by it. I too fell victim to the Pink Princess about a year and a half ago when it was first sort of popping up on the market. Those of you who were interested in buying a Pink Princess back then may remember that they were way, way, way more expensive than they are now. These days you can find a really nicely established Pink Princess in a two and a half inch pot here, priced at just $88. However, I remember just a couple years ago when I was buying my first Pink Princess, I spent a little over $100 on just a tiny cutting. A lot of people wonder how did a plant go from being hundreds and hundreds of dollars for just a small cutting to now just 88 for a nicely established plant like this one and that is through the process of tissue culture. So tissue culture allows growers to quickly multiply their plants and grow them out. That has really helped us be able to provide a lot more pink princesses, uh, especially with this really nice quality of variegation. So while tissue culture has allowed growers to quickly multiply the philodendron pink princess, the demand is still much higher than the suppliers can produce at. So these philodendron pink princess still can be a little bit harder to come by and still do come at a bit of a higher price tag than most other plants, especially for these really nicely variegated leaves. As for the care for a philodendron pink princess, I find them to be relatively easy to care for. You want to give them bright indirect light, so ideally a grow light would be best for maintaining the variegation on their leaves, but you could do a east or a west facing window and that would provide them adequate light. Uh, as for watering, you want to allow the soil to dry just slightly between waterings and I always recommend potting them up in a nice airy, well-draining aeroid mix. If you're looking for some advice on how to make your own aeroid mix, we actually have a video that we will link down below. The Philodendron Pink Princess definitely does get quite a bit bigger than this. Uh, these guys can grow to be up to four feet tall. That's about as large as I would expect it to get in your home. And the leaves get quite a bit bigger as the plant matures as well. Within the plant community, there is quite the debate about the exact origin of the Philodendron Pink Princess. However, I think everybody agrees upon the fact that it is from somewhere in South America and is a genetic mutation of the Philodendron Arabescence, which looks just like this Pink Princess here, just without the uh, pink variegation that you see there. I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit more about the Philodendron Pink Princess. Of course, you can always check them out on our website or here in store at our collector plant location. Peace out, you guys.